Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I finally get to something I wanted to do for a long time here for the Jeep, and that's some new wheels and tires. Now, you're gonna have to stay tuned to see them because I'm not ready to show you yet, but Project Cheap Jeep, episode one, now begins. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for coming back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, I'm just going to give you a real quick overview on this. This is my 2008 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Series X, and it's basically a base model. And in today's video, which is episode one of Project Cheap Jeep, Cheap Jeep. it is time to get rid of those. Now, before we do that, I just want to show you guys that these are essentially the stock, like low level rims and tires that just about every, you know, base model, non Rubicon, non Sahara type Wrangler comes with. Uh, it's just a basic 17 inch five spoke wheel and has uh, obviously Goodyear Wrangler tires on it of size 255, 70, 17. Now, these are not the biggest wheels that you can fit in a stock stance. Wrangler like I currently have. Uh, there's no lift kit on this or anything like that. But these wheels have been on this Jeep since it was new in 2008, or technically in 2007, probably when it was built. Um, this is pretty much the stock everything that these came with. And these are pretty old now. I've had these on here since I got it six years ago, and I do not know when the previous owner got these wheels and tires on here. So uh, some of them are starting to show a little bit of dry rot. The, uh, the tread is actually in really, really good shape, but it's just time for a change. And I wanted to do this for quite some time and just have not gotten around to it. So I'm going to show you what we're replacing these with. So now it's time for the big reveal. These are the new wheels and tires that are going on my Jeep. They are, of course, off of a, another Jeep. Now, I believe this is off of a JL. I think it's a Sahara model. And as you can see, these are quite a bit beefier. This is actually my favorite tire. Um, I know it's kind of weird to say that, but uh, way back in the day, I'll put it, I had BF Goodrich uh, all-terrain tires on my Bronco that I had way back then. And I love them. And I think they've only gotten better over the years. And that is what I wanted to find. And I found these are not, these are not exactly the wheels that I wanted. I really like the, the Rubicon wheels, but I'll put it this way. For the deal that I got on these, this was more than adequate. This is, uh, let's see, where is the info? This is a, here we go, 275-70 R18. So the rim itself is one size up from the 17s that I have on stock. And bring it over here to the stock wheels. Like I said, we're sitting at 255.75. These, uh, where did it go? So it's upside down, but uh, this is 275.70s. So what we're looking at is a, as you can see right here, a not much bigger tire, but a decently larger size tire that is, number one, going to fill out this wheel well much better, and number two, just... You know, this is a good road tire, you know, wheel tire combination. This is the type of wheel and tire that a Jeep should have. And I like it. So that's what counts the most. So without too much further ado on this, uh, these were sitting and obviously we're off of another Jeep. I picked these up off of a guy who got them in his garage for a bit, a bit. So they are a bit dusty and dirty. And I do need to clean them up first. But overall, I mean, even front to back, you know, they do have a little bit of wear and tear on them. But I am not a perfectionist when it comes to this type of stuff because that will happen. Last thing I want is to have something brand new. And then I put the first scratch on it. I always feel better about stuff that already has a little bit of life, you know, use out of it. And then that way I don't have to feel bad if something happens. But I did, uh, I did take these wheels and tires in to get balance. So now I just have to clean them up because they have tons of goop and honestly 
<laughs> I don't know what type of uh, tire shine that was used on here, but man, some of these have it just absolutely caked on there. So what we're going to do is give these a good clean. But before we do that, uh, I think I should show you the rest. Huh? All right. So here is the rest of them. One, two, three, four. And the one up in front is the fifth one. This is a full set of five Wrangler uh, rims and tires off of, you know, the current JL generation Saharas. They're all in good shape. Great tread. Some of them were, uh, you know, used up a, a little bit more than the others because obviously, you know, tread wear and things like that. But I believe this one was probably a, a drive wheel. This one, I believe, was a spare. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's seen any road use. And I believe, I think these two right here were the front, and I think the other one was probably in the rear as well. But overall, I mean, a ton of life left on these. They're just dirty, need to get cleaned up. So before we put them on, we're going to get to that now. All right, guys, so now we're on to the fun part. As you guys might be able to see here, these, these are very greasy. They must have layers and layers and layers of uh, tire shine on there. So what I want to do is I want to give them a, a full cleaning here. I want to get, you know, obviously the outside cleaned up before I put them on. And as you can see on the inside, they got a little bit of grease and grime. Now, these are obviously gunmetal on the inside, so they're not really that dirty, but I just figure while they are off of the Jeep, it's going to be the easiest time to get them done. So let's take care of that. And what I'm going to do is I have a pad down here. It's a gym pad. It's made of rubber. I'm just putting these down flat. That way I don't have to worry about scratching them up. And then we are going to spray them down. So what I use is Simple Green. This is a little, little pump sprayer. You just pump it up. Get a little bit of pressure in there, and then you just spray them down. I'm gonna get inside all that, and we're gonna let that soak for a little bit. We're gonna do the backside first, and then we'll get the get the fronts. And then what I have here is this is a soft bristle brush, and this is what I'm gonna use on the finished side of the wheel. It's just a, it's a little bit softer, so I don't have to worry about scratching it. And this is a little bit of a firmer brush. And what this is going to, I'm going to use this to scrub the wheels and the backside and make sure we get all the, the gunk off and that. But, you know, like I said, this is just the, the finish, the, the brush for the finish side. So now it's just elbow grease and try and clean the actual grease off with the elbow grease. So let's get to it. And as you, as you guys can see here, <laughs> already the, the letters on the inside are, are getting whiter. As you can see, they were pretty, pretty greasy here. So, so what we do is we just, we just keep scrubbing and we try and get this as clean as we can. And we spray again. All right. So if uh, oops. So if if I were going to be putting these on with the white letters facing outwards, I would probably scrub them a little bit more, try and get these letters to to be as clean as I could get them, but. This is actually just going to be on the inside, and I didn't want to spend the money to flip around as much as I do do like the uh, the white lettering on there. I'm not going to spend the money <laughs> to get this tires flipped around and face the outside. Just not worth it, you know. Cost cost <coughs> cost benefit analysis says nope, not going to do it. So so I'll spray them one more time. Get all this soap out. All right. So we got a good clean inside. Now we just need a good clean outside. All right, there we go. So again, same same thing we did on the other side. We're just gonna we're gonna spray it down with simple green. Let that soak in for a little bit, and then scrub it. 
So as I said before, uh, this is a soft reversal brush, and I'm going to use that for the to clean up the uh, you know the finished side of the wheel, the pretty side, if you will. It's a soft bristle, and I don't want to scratch them up. I mean, they're not perfect, but I want to keep them as nice as I as I possibly can. They're really not that dirty, so. good on all corners all right got that done a little more simple green spray it and then we're gonna go with the uh, firm bristles to do the wheel or the tire I should say I mean this is this is some chunky stuff that's on there you can see that just rubbing off. I don't know. I don't know what they used. If there was some sort of tire, like coating or something like that. But I've never really seen that to that extent before. That's not just some typical. That's not just some typical tire shine that was used on there. I mean, that is. I don't know if you can see that on there, but the way that rolls off. That is some greasy thickness on there. <laughs> so I'm going to give this a shot. This actually has some, uh, this is like a, a bug sponge. I'm going to see if this works a little bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. Looks like this is going to be a little bit deeper of a job than I originally intended to get all this goop off. All right, after spending a bit of time really scrubbing this, I think I got it. It doesn't really look like any of that stuff is still you know, a little bit here and there, but overall I think that's pretty good. So, one last scrub and rinse, and that should be it. So there we have it guys, a nice, clean, ready to be installed Jeep JL wheel and tire. That, uh, that whole thing took a, a little bit longer to get them all cleaned up, but uh, this one here is the last one I just finished up with. And this one has the, the best tread, as you guys can see. Now, I just wanted to take a moment real quick before I actually put these on to show you. So these are the other, the other four. I got them all lined up out of the way here. They're all clean. And I don't actually have a, uh, I don't have a tire gauge. So what I did is I, I just, uh, I took a straw here. And what I did was I just wanted to see, you know, of all of them. I marked here, so I kind of just set that in there. And, uh, you know, kind of, you know, it's not, not perfect, but kind of lined it up there just to see about where the tread was because I wanted to see if there's any major differences between all of these. So we've got... They, they are all about the same tread depth. You know, a, a little a little bit of variation on each one. I think this one back here might be the most worn, but they all come up pretty close. But if we come back up to here, and this this one here is the one that's missing the center the center ring. So I know that this one was the spare and has never been used. If you take a look here, you'll see that this goes way, way down in there, way past. You can I'll do it here where you can actually see. So, I mean, you, you can see that those other ones are about, I'd say, 60, 70% of the tread, whereas this, this you know, this one's 100%. So, my original intention was, as I was going to put the newest one on, you know, the traction wheels in the back. But given the fact that this one was never used and those other ones are down, I would say probably 
30 to 40 percent i don't want to have one wheel that has that much more tread than the other side because that just you know throws off the rotation of the, the differential on that so unfortunately um, i'm only going to use the other four on the drive wheels and on the steering wheels and then this one is just going to go back on as a spare and probably just never going to get used unless there's a flat tire or something like that and in the next set of tires maybe this one will make it into the rotation but i think this one is too new and hasn't the other ones have too much wear on it so i don't want to run the risk of throwing off the uh the drive line geometry and, and using it so this one's going to be a spare and then the other four are going on the truck all right guys as with everything in life this all is taken much longer than I planned for. The day is, is waning and uh, I'm running out of time to get this done. But now we're going to take the old wheels off, put the new wheels on, and uh, that should be uh, that should be the most of it. I've got it jacked up. I've got a jack stand underneath, and I've got wheel chocks in the back for safety so it doesn't roll. Don't have to worry about it falling down if the jack were to fail or anything like that. That's just good practice on any time you're jacking up a car and taking the wheels off. So um, we've, we've got all the safety measures in place. Now it's just time to unbolt the wheels, take them off, put the new ones on, and that should be it for this job. So let's get to it. So what I'm planning to do here is I want to find the, the least worn tires. Those are going to go on the back, and the most worn are going to go on the front so that they, they wear out evenly since the traction tires tend to wear out sooner. So based off of this, this one here, I think these back two are going to go on the front. And I think uh, since these have nice sharp edges, I think these two are going on the backs. So it looks pretty good to me. All right. Good tight fit on there. Impact wrenches a go. Let's do it. All right, what are the odds it comes off real easily? Oh, there we go, perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, well, and just taking a look here, brakes have seen better days, but uh, not the, the worst I've ever seen either. So we're gonna, we're gonna just roll with it for right now. Old wheels are pretty funky, but is what it is. It's a 12-year-old uh, Jeep, so this is what we got. All right, then before I put the new wheels on, the one thing I do like to do, this is overkill, but I like to use a little bit of the anti-seize and just put a little bit on the contact path for where the uh, where the tire, you know, the wheel is gonna make contact with this. It prevents that corrosion. And as you can see, they kind of have a, a circular path. It kind of matches what's already on there. So it should be very similar. So what we are going to do is we're just going to paint a little bit of this on here right along the edges and along the hub. And basically, if you've ever had to, to fight to get a wheel off of a, uh, <laughs> it's rusted onto a road or anything like that, I've had a lot of luck with uh, this preventing that from being a problem in the future. So. All right, and that should at least make this a little easier to take off next time. So then we'll turn the wheel around the right direction. And on we go. Get it lined up good so it'll be easy to... What I like to do is use my legs to add a little bit of oomph to get this up and on there. Just get it lined up with the lug pattern. Okay, I think right about there. Get it straightened out. And there. Come on, get on there. There we go. All right. There we go. So we got that on there. Try and center it a little bit, and it's not going to stay. So bring the lugs over, 
and we're gonna try there we go one of the lugs on the bottom to kind of hold it and I do eventually <laughs> I do eventually want to get some uh, newer lug nuts but these will have to suffice for right now just get them threaded and started to do is just take the socket, get it started, and just get all of them finger tight before cranking them down. All right, and then after that, what I like to do is set my, uh, I like to set my, uh, my torque wrench, or I guess impact wrench, whatever you want to call it, onto the low setting. And then what I like to do is just get, I like to hit it a couple times, just to make sure they're on good and tight. And then what I do is I come back and I tighten them with the torque wrench after the fact, so. Just get them on there good and snug. We're not wrenching them down. And there we go. First wheel is on. It's not not hitting anything, which is good because they're stock Jeep wheels, and that's how they should be. Definitely, uh, definitely is tight to that caliper, but that is a that is a nice looking wheel and tire. If I do say so myself. Get the sun out of here. Yep. And I do like that little uh, Easter egg that they put on there with the uh, little, the old Willys Jeep. All right, guys. So we got the uh, the first one on, and I do have to say, you get back a little bit. That that does look pretty nice. So now we just have to do the uh, rear one, but I'm not going to bore you with that. We're uh, we're going to get it taken care of and show you the aftermath. Got the front and the rear on on the driver's side, and I gotta tell you, I like it. I think those look really nice. I think that's a sharp look. They're a little bit bigger, and uh, I think they just, uh, I think they fill out those the wheel wells a little bit better. Really makes those other ones look quite small. Now, I'm not sure what the actual conversion is, but I think, I think these are pretty close to being. I think the 32s are maybe almost 33 inch tires, but that is a stock Jeep, no lift, stock ride height, never done anything to it. And uh, yeah, I, I think that looks pretty good. All right, guys, so I got the driver's side done, of course. Um, I'm not gonna waste your time showing you the passenger side. It's just gonna be a rinse and repeat of this, and then I gotta get the spare on. So I'm running out of daylight here. I just wanted to let you guys know, because I didn't address it earlier at the beginning of the video, the reason that these wheels and tires are part of Project Cheap Jeep is because I decided that I did not want to spend a ton of money. I wanted to go with something that would be reasonable for this Jeep, and that is why I went with takeoffs from uh, another, another Jeep. This set of five wheels and tires, I would say in awesome shape. I mean, they're not brand new, but one of them is. The other four, I would have plenty of life left in, in them. I got this entire set of five wheels and tires for $700. You know, I, I don't know. I can't think of a better deal than that. I mean, $700, the wheel, the, these tires alone, without the wheels, brand new, would probably send me back all five of them for this Jeep well over $1,000, if not more. I mean, they're probably about $250, $300 a tire, and then you got to get them mounted and everything. So I got this entire set of used wheels and tires, one almost brand new, the whole set, 
So Project Jeep Jeep here is off to a great start. I couldn't be happier with this set of wheels and tires at $700. That fits perfectly into what my goal is with this project and how I want things to go for this Jeep. I mean, $700 isn't cheap, but I'll tell you, it is a steal uh, for the, the budget-oriented build that I want to do with this Jeep here. And I couldn't be happier with the way that it went. So I just got to get the other side finished up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get those taken care of and run out of daylight here. I'm going to get that all wrapped up. I'm going to get everything cleaned up here. And I'll get back with you real shortly here in the video and show you the finished result. everyone that's about going to wrap it up for this episode of project cheap jeep i couldn't be happier with the outcome on this i think these wheels and tires look great on the jeep i think once they've been cleaned up i think they they look awesome i mean they're definitely not my first choice in what i wanted to do but when it comes to being a cost effective build and getting something that's in great shape but you know great shape looks good and also does a good all around all season driving job i really can't you know, I, I, I don't think it could have done better for only $700 getting all five of these wheels and tires. I mean, BF Goodrich, their uh, all-terrain tires are awesome. I've never gone wrong with these and they're tried and true. I mean, you know, for those of you that, uh, that have had them, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about here, but BF Goodrich, they definitely make some good tires and you know what, I think these look fantastic on the Jeep. So couldn't, couldn't be happier with how this went. So one last look here from the outside of the Jeep. I like how that spare tire looks on the back. And honestly, I don't think, uh, like I said before, I, <laughs> I don't think I could have done any better for the look of this Jeep. The gunmetal with the silver kind of looks cool. And I think it also works with the accent of a little bit of chrome over there, the chrome on the lights and everything. So yeah, I think, uh, I think all in all, I think that's a great look for, for the Jeep. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up episode one of Project Cheap Jeep. I hope you like the new wheels and tires here on the Jeep, and I look forward to doing more things here as part of this video series. So if you like the video, please hit that like button. Please leave a comment down below, and I'll interact with you, you know, in the chat below. Also, please subscribe because I'm going to have much more content coming on my channel here featuring my Jeep, also my Corvettes, and everything else in between. So with that said, I hope you all, you all have a great day. You guys take care, and we'll see you next time.